What's your name? <laughs> what are you doing here? Okay. You're okay? Okay. You ready to go bowling? Yes. Are right, you need a kitty lane? No? What size ball are you gonna use? What? <laughs> a big one? Hey, yo, now I ain't hearing nothing. Less is about them blue face hunters. Yeah, I did it and I done it. I ride high, don't plummet. Got cash in abundance. Them dead presidents are bungee jumping. What is up, YouTube gods and goddesses? It is your boy Mike from Duck Walk Professional here, and we're here for a special vlog today, holiday edition, Christmas Eve. We're at um, a tradition that we've been doing for a long time. We go to Kingpin, all the boys do to get out the house so that we can leave our mother and grandmother and everybody else alone so that they can get stuff ready for the holiday. So let's go in there and see that. We got a special uh, guest today. We got Uncle Wayne over here who made the trip up from Wildwood and we got Zebra Boy and my brother. So let's get this show on the road. Yoo! Man, you did that like a pro. big problems when you come is you gotta find the perfect ball and it has to be the right weight and it has to be big enough for me to be able to fit my big thumb in there when I was younger at playing quarterback I broke that thumb right there and I got an abnormally large thumb piece right there so it's always a struggle apparently this ball's name's Betty and there's John. So we got Betty and John balls right next to each other. The pro shop with all the pro balls. Okay, as you guys can see, it's MGM's first roll. Let's see how we do. I gotta stretch a little bit. Stretch it out and then we'll get it going for the boys. Before you just start into slanging that big bowling ball, you gotta do a little bit of stretching. And Dr. Fresh would uh, really appreciate me telling you boys that. Stretch a little bit, save yourself some in, um, injury tomorrow. So I'm going to show you guys how I stretch before I go bowling and the muscles that tend up getting sore for me. getting my groin on my right side from my sliding foot always ends up getting sore and then a lot of times my back and my shoulders and my tricep on my swinging arm gets a little sore. A definite way to keep the soreness down is to have a sip of Cody before you go out there. What do you got to say Uncle Wayne? Are you having fun? Someone dropped the ball on this thing. You, yeah, you want a, Uncle Mike to put his special stone on it, make it feel better? No. No? I can't touch it because that would hurt again. Yeah. You got a 
bunch of pins down. High five, dude. Yeah! And the feast has begun. We got some chicken tenders, some zaz, and some frazas. We didn't get any cheese. Yeah, 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 hey. Yeah. Can I knock them pins out and be as good as my nephew? We will see in the future. When you, when you fell, the red light goes on right there. See it? That means you stepped over that line. And your, and your points don't count. <sighs> Not, see? That's what happens. You went over the line. You fouled. You're doing good. You're beating everybody else. Yo, you got much to say, man. Man, these boys are spoiled. Look at all that food that they got. And popcorn, too. Man, you got such a nice daddy and Uncle Mike and Uncle Wayne. Yeah. Are you enjoying your pizza, little man? Yeah. Had a plug. Had to take advantage. Bitch, I'm killing the game. Like I be running to it. Yeah. You guys know my Uncle Wayne over here. He he used to take me out to baseball games when I was a little kid. He took me to my first Phillies game. And now we're taking him bowling out here like this. A couple years ago after Sandy, he had a stroke. He wasn't taking very good care of himself physically, were you? No. So this is a lesson to all the boys out there. You gotta take care of yourself. You gotta eat your fruits and vegetables. You gotta go to the doctor, get your checkups. Make sure you take care of yourself so you don't have a stroke and end up in a wheelchair like that. So it could happen to anybody, you know, it's part of the universe, but you can also have a hand in it and help you to help yourself in the future. That's Mop God's public service message to all the gods and goddesses out there. Phew. It's Zebra's turn. There you go, you gotta swing that thing. Oh no! Oh! You're dropping it too hard, bud. Good try, though, Zebra. Good try. And I know for sure that I'm about to blow. I get dope like a fucking hoe. I work nights, yeah, hoe. I don't know what the fuck Just you missed it. Not for the dream, not for the boys. I'll tell you guys some of this history of how this got started for us. Um, basically, one year. Um, many, many years ago, me and my brother were just a little bit older than DJ, and we were causing my mother a uh, terror. We were just being a terror in the house the night, the day before um, Christmas, on Christmas Eve, and they had all this work to do, all this cooking to do, presents to wrap, and they had two little boys running around the house being maniacs, pretty much. So the idea came that our uncle would take us out bowling and our grandpa, the boys would go out bowling to keep the house free for the ladies so that they could do what they needed to do. And now that we have Zebra, we're continuing the um, tradition for the next generation. And hopefully, he'll continue it on. And then Uncle Wayne's still over there. He'll be part of it, chilling. I'm going now. Watch me. Watch me in the camera. Uncle Mike's red! Oh. What are you doing with that? <laughs> what do you think, Zebra? Is one better than none? Yes. Yes, every day of the week. You are just having so much fun, huh? <laughs> Alright, check this out right here, right now. We are in the 8th frame and MGM has 110 points for the lead. I need to show you how I do it next time. I'm going to do my, my way that I was showing you. This is how you do it. This. Ready? Did 
Did you like Uncle Mike's sliding bowl? Huh. No. All right, the mop god is champion of the first game with 127 points, 127 for the dream. And now we're on to game two. That's four quarters. That is four quarters. Yes, sir. You are playing Jurassic Park Arcade. Ready? Stack. Bitch, I'm back, bitch, I'm, bitch, I'm back. I met a plug, had to take advantage. Bitch, I need that cabbage, like a rabbit. I be running to it, yeah, I'm running through it. Did you tell your daddy how we were shooting those dinosaurs up? Yeah. You a hoe, and I know for sure that I'm about to blow. I get dope, like a fucking hoe. I work nights, yeah, hoe. I don't know what the fuck you saying. I'm gonna go round and round and round and round and round and round and round. Yeah. Okay. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? I told you I was gonna knock all those pins down for my favorite nephew. And I did, didn't I? Huh. Thank you. That was so lucky. <laughs> Who's the man? Okay, yes. I'm Michael. What do you what did you used to call me? You don't remember? No. Little boy for sale? Okay. Little boy for sale. We got a little boy for sale here. Old man for sale now. When I was younger, we used to go to Phillies games and this guy used to I was this kid's age and he used to say little boy for sale little boy for sale and yell it in the whole veteran stadium and I'm thinking oh my goodness I'm not going home tonight <laughs> you're an evil man <laughs> this is the last frame the zebra's over there He's ready to play video games. Uncle Wayne's finishing up his beverages. Seems like he's pretty happy over there. Yeah, you won't get hit. I'ma hit you with the clip. I ain't fucking playing. I'm motherfucking spraying on you, motherfucking pussy bitches saying any shit to my face, man. I don't give a fuck about that shit behind my back. Cause it ain't nothing, you a motherfucking bitch. I can run game on a motherfucking snitch. I ain't motherfucking ditch. You don't end up in a motherfucking ditch. Hey. The game for the holiday bowling session. Did you have fun, Zebra? Bitch. I don't know what fuck. Bitch. What the fuck is that shit you always talking? It ain't nothing, bitch. You better back up off me. I'm just trying to run up my fucking commas. Get your baby mama, man, and make a holla at a real motherfucking G. Catch Thank you. Alright boys, I would say this was a successful mission. We had fun. We continued the family tradition of going bowling on Christmas Eve at Kingpin. Uncle Wayne came with us. He had fun. Um, we taught the boys some lessons. Uh, showed Zebra how to bowl. So all in all, we had fun. That's what counts. On to the next part of the journey. Yo, where's my jacket and shit at? Oh, damn, Uncle Wayne's got it for me. Thanks, Uncle Wayne. Thanks for looking out. I appreciate that. Okay. Man, look at that stud and that Freedom the Dream snapback. That's why I love you so much. All right, we're piecing out a kingpin right now. We had a great time. How, how was your time, Zebra? Good. Yeah, you like this? Mm -hmm. Should we keep doing this every year? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. You ready to go outside now in this freezing cold? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Woo, for the dream. Oh, and there are these boys. They're still sitting out over there. Uncle Wayne's puffing. Me in the street, I roll deep, yeah, one deep, yeah, I'm with just me. All these Maybe generations of dreamers. Maybe my sack. Maybe my motherfucking guy. I don't give a fuck. You get hit from the back. You get hit from the back, yeah, I can stop. On a All right, boys, we're heading out of here. Like, we had a fun time. We enjoyed ourselves today. I knocked down a couple strikes. I even called one for my nephew and for the boys. How, how did you make out today, Uncle Wayne? 
Okay. <laughs> That's Uncle Wayne's hand that doesn't work. And his other hand, he's smoking a cigarette for. So I guess uh, he's uh, not up for having a handshake. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. So what are you going to do now? Huh? What do you mean? You're going to come with us back up into our house? How are we going to get your ass up all the way up there? We'll just have dinner in the garage. Oh. The aliens? Oh! The aliens are going to beam you up, huh? What do you think? Yeah? Beam you right up, huh? Are you already an alien? <laughs> Why is no. that? Why is that funny? No. There's some people that are aliens right now. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> this is something that we do and not a lot of other people do and it's so fucking awesome. It's for the dream. Who really cares about that? We had our, spir our spiritual experience now. <laughs> What'd you say about that? Yes. Okay. okay. How you feeling, Zebra? Good. What's your claim to fame? I don't know. You don't know yet? Are you zebra still? Yeah. Okay. Are you? Is Santa gonna come to see you? You sure? You you were behaving? I don't know. There was a couple times when I know Sneaky saw you not being so nice. But then there was other times when I know Sneaky saw you being a really good boy. So how do you think it's gonna all weigh out? I don't know. Yeah. If you would have to guess, would you say you have? One check, no checks, or a star? Yes. For being good? Star. You have a star for being good? Okay, good, because I think you're a star too. I give you a star for being good. This is the other thing that Uncle Wayne grew me up with, is this classic rock. And he still loves to sing it now.